Hello everybody! It's Tuesday. You know what that means. We start a new week of What Sold video. Never took a left. Aww, oh, that car was a jack of you. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Ew, what's this look? Terrible. Alright, so today, Tuesday, July 6th, and uh, we still have the sale going on, in fact, it's going to be going on until tomorrow because of an error that I made. I actually put the end date as August 2nd instead of July 6th. I don't know how I did that, but, um, so yeah, it's going on until tomorrow at 5 p.m., so um, sales will probably stay about the same until then, um, and that's good. We're enjoying this. So, uh, first thing on the list today is a series, um, just a hodgepodge of old Sports Illustrated magazines. We got some from 1979, some from 1980. Um, nothing really earth shattering here. Most of these are, you know, kind of mixed covers. Uh, any of the ones that had superstars on them, like Jordan or anything like that, we took out of these. Um, so, this is just a mix of 10 Sports Illustrated, sold for eight bucks. Plus shipping. Sold a record. Um, it's another one of those uh, compilation records. This is a KTEL full tilt compilation record. We've sold this several times. We've got uh, Blondie on here, Pete Townsend, Devo, um, Pointer Sisters, and so forth. So full tilt. Uh, sold for seven bucks plus shipping. Sold a button. Uh, came off the hat from the Epic Estate sale. Haven't said that name in a while. Right here, this is a Simpsons button. There we go. Um, this button sold for four bucks, plus shipping. Sold some comic books, some vintage comic books from 1973. Um, these are two Doctor Strange comic books. Um, let's see, number 241 and 242. So there's the one on the front, the other one's behind it. Um, these sold for $6.40, plus shipping. So another Vampirella. I need to find more of these. This is Vampirella, issue number 33 from 1974. She's got her red bathing suit on again. There we go. 12 bucks for Vampirella, plus shipping. Sold some more Avon lip balm. People like the Avon lip balm. This is moisture therapy. A -bomb, Avon lip balm. Um, a lot of 10 sold for uh, $9.45. Free shipping. Sold some shampoo, some Avon shampoo. This is Avon Botanical Cherry Blossom. Right here. It's a uh, shampoo and conditioner. Oh, so one's shampoo, one's conditioner. Yes, sorry. With the amount of hair on my head, I don't pay too much attention to shampoo or conditioner. But they both look just like this. Uh, sold for $12. Free shipping. Sold some Levi's. I know. It's been a little while. These are women's Levi's. I found these at the bins. You know, they're not folded very well. These are women's 535 jeggings. Uh, size 11 medium. Um, these sold for $7. Plus shipping. Sold another comic book, um, or actually this is a uh, graphic novel of The Amazing Spider-Man and Obama. Right here. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man meets Barack Obama. Uh, special edition, uh, $4 plus shipping. Sold another Spider-Man graphic novel here. We're getting through these. How many of these do we have left? Seven. The Amazing Spider-Man graphic novel. We bought a whole case of these from a friend of ours. Uh, well paid for the case a long time ago. So, uh, thirteen fifty plus shipping for that. Sold a Nike shirt. Uh, we're calling this a Touch Skyline Scuba shirt. I was expecting it to feel like a scuba suit, but it doesn't. Um, it's just kind of like a shirt here. It says Nike on it. It's got a hood. Um, I guess it's a scuba knit hoodie. Yeah, Twelve dollars. Plus shipping for that. Sold another dashiki. Here it is. There's a pattern on it right there. It's an African men's dashiki. Um, 
it is. Uh, it doesn't really have a size on it. It says one size fits most. So, not me. Uh, $16 plus shipping. Sold this coat back here. We found this at the bins as well. This was a good one. We have good luck with these kinds of jackets, these puffer jackets. This is a Trail Crest uh, puffer jacket. Size extra large. Sold for $32 plus shipping. Couldn't have paid more than maybe two three dollars for this thing at the bin so thirty two dollars plus shipping is not bad sold a cabbage patch kid <laughs> here she is sarah's very proud of her um sarah went out and bought her some clothes at walmart some preemie clothes and did her hair <laughs> so, this is a 1980s cabbage patch with freckles here she is right here if my camera would focus on her and not me um she's got the sweet girl outfit on and got her hair did she's got some barrettes in her hair uh thirty dollars for her plus sorry thirty dollars plus shipping sold this book donnie brasco we found this at the bins as well and it's been with us for a while um book that they made the movie on right here um first edition from 1987 sold for four bucks plus shipping so you guys see that book as tempting as it might be you could leave it because not very valuable sold two tupperware containers these are set of two harvest green and yellow storage containers right here uh number 1297 with lids right there 1250 for these plus shipping we've had some good luck with tupperware uh stuff selling rather well and quick so another Billy Joel record. I think this is our last one. Um, this is Billy Joel Piano Man from 1973. Um, CBS and Columbia pressing of this record. Sold for $5.60. Plus shipping. Sold a brooch right here. This one's kind of cool. It's like clear. Almost like a crystal. That right there. Um, kind of a newer one, so not super vintage. $12 plus shipping for that. Sold a J. Crew pair of jeans here these are j crew uh 484 slim jeans size 32 34 we found these at the bins found a couple pairs of them and we sold them all now if i could show you the tag i would let's try it this way there we go j crew size 32 34 um 14 dollars plus shipping for those next up is this sarah found this at a thrift store she went out uh, doing a little shopping and stopped at a thrift store and this was one of the results this is a mary inglebright large cookie jar from 2003 she paid five dollars for it it sold for 87 dollars plus shipping how about that some of the more successful thrifts happen when you don't plan it out and you just walk in and there it is well she's got a couple more too so um happy to see what those will sell for Sold some vintage Markel paint sticks. There they are. I guess they're like those crayons that are mostly paint. I'm not much of an artist, so couldn't really tell you. I'm an expert at drawing stick figures, but that's about it for me. Uh, $9.60 for those, plus shipping. Sold some legs. Here they are. Doll legs. With painted boots uh, sixteen dollars for these these are uh, re reproduction legs with boots Victorian bisque dolls uh, sold for sixteen dollars plus shipping so this this has been with us for a while as well this is a catapult uh, it's kind of like a wooden construction thing you put together and it launches bean bags um, catapult measure and construct launch and bombard Kiva midware mindware mindware can't read today uh, eleven dollars and twenty cents plus shipping. And last for today, we gotta find more of these at the dollar store because uh, they are quite the seller. More caps. Um, these are ring caps from the dollar store. Um, that's a lot of one, two, three, a lot of six. Twenty dollars for the caps plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today is Wednesday, July 7th, and uh, did pretty well. Today is actually the official end of our sale, um, and if Thursday's really slow, we'll just start it over again, because this has been great. So, uh, first thing on the block 
today is this. It's a Express uh, Long Flowing Chiffon Skirt. Large, size large. New with the tags. Um, this sold for $8.50 plus shipping. Next up is a vintage Galoosh Enamel Rose Powder Compact. Sure. It's this. Looks like this. <laughs> I imagine it opens as well. Huh? Look at that. It does. There you go. Um, this sold for $15 plus shipping. Sold a um, ivory lace tablecloth. Um, Chantilly ivory lace. Ugh. Batch. Time for another bad joke. Uh, Chantilly lace. It was a popular song by the Big Bopper in the 50s. Uh, not that I was around for that. $10 for the uh, tablecloth ivory Chantilly lace. Um, $10 to get plus shipping. Some shorts. We got these right here. Um, Banana Republic Emerson Shorts, size 34, flat front shorts, uh, palm tree print. A pair of these for vacation, I think. But I'm not much of a slim fit short guy. Um, $14 plus shipping. Got some of those vintage razors that we got at the Epic Estate Sale, part two. These are flicker razors. Um, I don't know what the draw is on these things. People seem to like them a lot. 79 cents originally from a five and dime store. $12.80 we resold them for. Um, they were, when we bought the first pair of them, we sold uh, three of them for $50. So I guess the market's a little down on them, but still. Um, one pack, 12 bucks, paid like nothing, maybe 50 cents for them. So uh, not bad there. Sold the Hot Wheels. We got a whole bunch of Hot Wheels. Um, and we got a bunch of these ones. This is uh, a buggy. It says Buggin' Out series. This is a dune buggy. Um, or they're calling it the Baja Bug. Um, from 1998, $4.50. Free shipping. Um, sold a vintage Adams Family uh, figurine. This is Gomez. Doesn't look like Gomez. Maybe it's supposed to. Oh, maybe it's from the cartoon. That would make sense. Um, from 1992, Playmates sealed um, Adam's Family Gomez, $9.20 plus shipping. We sold a lot of these. These are uh, doll body parts. Um, don't worry, it's not creepy. It's just like the, the, I don't know, chest area, like here to here area no neck no head type thing we sold a lot of uh, large ones we've got some smaller ones in here um, so forth $31.50 we've got let's see one two three four five six seven of them to in total in there so uh, 31 bucks not bad we are getting inching closer to the pure profit uh, on that whole doll purchase so pretty happy about that I think we're about a hundred dollars shy right now so I think we're right around 400 bucks um, sold a J crew men's minimalist wallet it's just uh that's it that and that um, in plaid new with the tag right here nine dollars and 75 cents for that plus shipping sold a camcorder um, got this at it um, it was an online estate sale I didn't really bring you guys with me because I only got one or two things from this side that PlayStation from a while back, that PlayStation 2 that I sold a while back uh, came from it. Got this camcorder as well, and it's a really awesome camcorder for its day. Um, it's not, it would be worth a lot more money. So let me show you the camcorder first, and then I will uh, explain to you what's going on here. So it's this it's a Canon camcorder. Um, it is model number is where did it go it's an a1 digital is what it's called so it takes the um high eight digital tapes it says it right there um really really high quality camcorder for its day it's got you know all the controls at the top there and so forth uh no night vision which tends to be the draw on these but this camcorder probably would have been closer to 150 dollars had i been able to test it um i do have batteries for it but no charger so 
It came with this, another lens, a tele telephoto lens that comes with it as well. Uh, $60 for the camcorder. So still had some value. I think I paid 20 bucks for it. So $60 plus shipping. Sold more of those Spider-Man books. We got six left. This is the Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1. Sold a ton of them. Uh, it's $15.60 plus shipping. This was kind of funny. Um, sold an Urban Outfitter, Fithers. Pfft, sold an Urban Outfitters shirt. A v neck shirt. Men's size, small, new with the tags. It's right here. Um, this was one of the weirdest offers I got. Um, they sent an offer for $4.99 plus shipping and the only thing it said in the comment was the emoji fist bump that was it so if you're a viewer and you're just playing a game with me let me know but um, it was really funny uh 4.99 plus shipping for the shirt sold an adidas shirt funny thing is, is we had a typo in this listing it wasn't actually listed as an adidas shirt so it's probably why it's still here um you know we'll dog hair on it there um we listed it as an adidada shirt um mitten size medium black new with the tags it's like a shirt it's got a hooded on it um by adidas twenty dollars and eighty cents plus shipping you gotta watch those typos because a lot of the times they'll fall out of search so you won't people won't be able to properly search for it and anybody searching for adidas clothes won't find that thing so uh but still sold twenty dollars and eighty cents Plus shipping. We got your introduction to Morris Code cassette. Interesting. We found this at the bins. Your introduction to Morris Code on cassette. Well, the cassettes look like they're in pretty good shape. It really looks like it's never been played. Right there. Two cassette with manual. $11.20. Plus shipping. Sold some spoons. Mm -hmm. These spoons. These are copper William Sonoma spoons. Well, I guess one's a spoon and one's like a, a spork, I guess we'll call it. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, probably for salad, something like that. Uh, eating a lot of that these days. <laughs> $13 for the salad spoons plus shipping. Uh, next up, we sold a vintage deer head. This is a uh, little, like, stag deer head made in Japan um, this just kind of hangs on the wall and you put stuff in it right there um, pretty cool little thing seven dollars and fifty cents plus shipping next up is in this box right here um, I'm surprised this took as long as it did to sell because the first one I listed sold almost instantaneously um, this is a king and country toy soldiers and this is a Japanese tea house facade so something you'd make you know whole little like diorama thing and this would be sitting there with maybe like toy soldiers and stuff around uh, not my cup of tea but I could see how this would be something that people would pay decent money for um, these go brand new for a couple hundred dollars um, and the retired ones are worth a little more the one we sold before was also a retired one and it sold for 150 bucks um, this one has been with us for hmm, probably about six months maybe less maybe four months um, and it's taken a while to sell it is in the box it's not brand new uh, 40 bucks for this plus shipping we just kind of dropped it down um, paid 75 dollars for both of them so sold the last one for 150 this one for 40 that's a lot of that's a pretty decent profit there um so you know keep an eye out for these though um some of them are very rare and some of them people are looking for like the one we sold before um is a good pretty good pickup either way if you can get them cheap enough next up sold still hacking through those heritage books this is eugene grondit i don't know you know how i am in pronouncing these fancy words um twelve dollars for this one not bad plus shipping sold a cabbage patch kid here she is right here um this is a 1980s cabbage patch kid with dimples um gem star kid i guess they're the faces are a little different on the gem star kids they're more of this like teardrop shape rather than the uh the round face that you see behind me here um they're a little bit more collectible and a little bit more worth a little bit more money 25 bucks for her 
I'm sorry, $25 plus shipping. We're throwing in an extra little diaper with her too because that diaper is a little saggy. And the last for today. Uh, today was a little slower than most days, but still pretty decent day. Uh, we sold some vintage Peanuts 1971 Charlie Brown pillowcases right here. Um, they are called Happiness is Being One of the Gang. $12.50 plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday, July 8th. After spending a ton of time on hold with USPS due to a package being lost, I'm waiting on a phone call, so if I have to cut the video off midway, it's because they're calling me back. Maybe. I'm sure that maybe. <laughs> Anyways, we sold a fair amount of stuff. Sales over. Thinking about running another one, though, this weekend. Just, I don't know. Feels like things slowed down a little bit today, so maybe you know, run another sale. I mean, it worked out. Why not? Uh, we do have a fair amount of sales today. Um, so started off with this. This is a posted pop-up note dispenser shaped like a purse. Isn't that something? Um, I don't know where we got this, to be honest with you. Um, $15 for this free shipping. Um, one thing to note with these is that they are quite heavy. So if you do buy these, um, you're going to be paying a little bit more. We're probably going to be throwing this in the, uh, the good old padded flat rate envelope. So it's going to cost us almost eight bucks to ship this. So just know that if you're buying these post-it dispensers, they are quite heavy. Next up, a Nike dry fit polo uh, with WVU, West Virginia University right there. Um, found this at the bins, 10 bucks plus ship. Sold a little miniature Cabbage Patch doll. It's right here. Precious. She's got kind of an Afro thing going on there, though. But, yeah. Fluff that down a little. That looks worse. Um, yeah, just like a mini Cabbage Patch doll. Um, this sold for $8.50 plus shipping. <coughs> Next up, I'm a child, I know. Next up are the four of these. These are, um, we sold two sets of two. So these are those Yankee Candle Fragrance Spheres. Um, we get these at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Um, they're just, I believe you just kind of pull the thing off there and it smells. Um, this is, uh, so we, we sold four of them uh, to a very popular one of you, uh, and he's, or, or she, I apologize if I got that wrong, but uh, Sean, you are quite the regular customer lately, and thank you so much. Um, we'll have to throw some more stickers in this, I guess, for you, or something. <laughs> um, so $20 for four of these, free shipping. <laughs> be forewarned, this might be the creepiest one out of all of them. Sarah was going to keep it, and she decided against it. This one... I'm happy is leaving this house because I was for sure this was going to come to life and try to bite me or something. This is a vintage composition four inch girl head doll with pigtails. Absolutely terrifying as far as I'm concerned. When she sits on the thing her pigtails go up like this it makes her look even more terrifying. Um, it's $15.50 for the decapitated oh and her eyes move too. That's just disturbing. I can't get them to do it. Oh, yeah, see? Now they're open. <laughs> so scary. $15.50. Plus shipping. We're getting rid of these Hot Wheels, but we're losing money on it because we paid uh, $7 for them. Uh, bad purchase back in the day. We got them on Amazon. These are uh, Hot Wheels 2018 Camaro SS. Um, sold it for $7 free shipping. It's the last one, actually. So no more losing money on those. Sold uh, one of these... Um, pewter dragon figurines that you saw us get from the auction. Um, these are, this is like a dragon with a staff. It's got like a jewel on the end of the staff there. Pretty cool. Uh, the jewel actually 
looks clear from certain angles and then certain angles it looks like purple and blue. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this is a large climbing dragon collectible. Uh, the Rawcliffe Pewter is the brand from 1990. Uh, $45 for this plus shipping. Not bad. <laughs> Last night we were sitting on the couch and this record sold, sold and I was like, that's a lot for that record. And Sarah's like, yeah, that's what they were going for. And I'm like, that seems a little overpriced, but okay. This is the Turtles. More Golden Hits um, from 1970. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not a big selling record, but I would have thought this was like a $5 record. Uh, and instead it's $12.60 plus shipping, which is interesting because I don't, I don't know one. Do I know any of these songs? No. Oh, yeah, I know one, two, two. So well, maybe they do have some hits. Anyways, the Turtles. $12.80 plus shipping. We were asking $14 for it before the sale. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Didn't know. Uh, two more heads. These are those reproduction Victoria era heads. They look like old people to me. Um, two of those sold for $20 bucks plus shipping. Sold another Cabbage Patch Kid. This is a formal Cabbage Patch Kid. She looks like she's going to like her baptism or something. Here she is. Um, Cabbage Patch Kid from the 1980s. Uh, obviously blonde hair, blue eyes with freckles. The ones with freckles, you can actually see them right there on her cheek. The ones with freckles get a lot of action. Um, she sold for $25 plus shipping. <coughs> Next up, sold a cross stitch. Um, where is it? It's down here sold a cross stitch. We bought a lot of this stuff during the pandemic and I sold a fair amount of it. Um, this is one of the last ones we had left. This is a cross stitch. It looks like that, I guess, when you're done with it. I'm not even 100% certain what cross stitch is. Um, sold for $7 free shipping. Sold another record. This one I would have thought would be more worth more than the Turtles. This is Mick Fleetwood, The Visitor. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I just, I don't know. Mick Fleetwood, I thought would be more, I, I have no idea. Maybe the Turtles record's rare or something. I have no idea. Uh, the Visitor uh, for Mick Fleetwood, $4 plus shipping. Another disturbing head coming at you, so if you don't like them, turn away now. Uh, this one is a uh, Antique Simon and Habing uh, doll, doll head from the 1900s. It's been repaired just staring directly into your soul. That's what it looks like to me. She's got, or he maybe, I don't know, got some cracking going on here on the back. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, big star David back there. Always makes me wonder when this was actually made. You know, made during World War II. It would be very interesting that it survived. Um, $30 for that head, plus shipping. Sold a vintage curling iron. Here it is, right here. Uh, still in the box, vintage curling iron. We got these a while back from that uh, uh, thrift store in West Virginia in the mall. Uh, quite a while back, probably last summer would be my guess. Twelve dollars free shipping for that. It was uh, nine ninety nine originally, Kmart. So it went up in value. <laughs> Who would have thought? Sean, you're at it again. You got to tell me, uh, comment on one of these videos, and tell me why you're buying all this stuff. Are you reselling it or not? Uh, I won't care either way, honest to God. Um, got uh, two lots of uh, Avon lip balm. This is moisture therapy lip balm right here. Uh, a lot of 10. And then vanilla lip balm. A lot of five. Both Avon products. Sold for $13 for both of them. Free shipping. Another pewter dragon. The dragon seems to be the most popular one today. This is a... Uh, Rawcliffe Mother Love Dragon, Pewter Dragon from 1992. There it is right there. No real jewels on this one, I guess. It's just a pewter dragon. I don't know. <laughs> it's over $14, uh, plus shipping. Sold some 10 cent comics. Um, these are a lot of two Dell 10 cent comics. Uh, Smokey and the Bear and the Pony Express from the 1950s. Pretty cool. Got uh, that and Smokey and the Bear right here. Pretty cool. Um, very old and in really good shape still. So that's interesting. $7 for both of those plus shipping. Sold an old mason jar. This is a mason jar half gallon full jar. Um, November 30th, 18. 
58. Pretty interesting. There it is there. Um, still has a lid too. Uh, $28.50 for this. Plus shipping. Well, no, it's free shipping. $28.50 free shipping on that. And last for today, we got a Barbie. And a interesting one at that. Um, this is a, and thank you so much to a few of you out there that helped us figure out some, what some of these Barbies are worth. Really, really appreciate it. One of you in particular really uh, gave, pointed us in the right direction. So that's great. Um, this is a Miss America Barbie. It's called um, Vintage Walk Lively Miss America Doll, number 3200 from 1972. She's got, she's mostly complete as far as the dress and the, the this cape or whatever it is. And she's got her sash and the crown. The ground right there, um, but she's missing some accessories. So she had like a scepter or something, and like some combs and stuff for her hair. I don't know. Um, but she sold for decent money, thirty-six dollars and fifty cents for this little one, plus shipping. Hello, everybody. How's it going? It's Friday. Happy Friday to those of you that work regular jobs, nine to five, and actually have a weekend. Um, Today is Friday, June 9th. We have a fair amount of sales today, so uh, we're going to get into them. We are on our way to an auction in West Virginia, so I'm actually recording this a little early. So, um, First thing on the block is this, it's a Sony PlayStation. The original PlayStation um, comes with one controller and a few games in here, along with all the cordage necessary for your gaming needs. Uh, $40 for the PlayStation plus shipping. Sold an Ann Taylor around tie dress. We got this at the bins. No, no, we didn't. Do Did we get this at the bins? We might have got this at the bins. I don't know. Anyways, it's a dress with a like a tie thing on it. Like this. <laughs> you know me and women's clothes. I, I don't know. $22 for the dress, though. New with tags. Uh, the tag is somewhere in here. There it is. Right there. Uh, new with the tag. Sold for $22 plus shipping. Next up, it's a corkscrew. <laughs> um, it's a... I'm not even going to try and pronounce this brand. It's that brand right there. <laughs> it's like a rabbit-style corkscrew, as you can see. You just press this little lever down pull it up um we actually bought this for ourselves a while back and didn't like it so sold it on ebay ten dollars free shipping for this sold a mario super mario galaxy game we games the market might be dropping on these quite a bit because this game i feel like six months ago was worth like 50 bucks and <laughs> now ten dollars free shipping for the super mario sarah got this while she was at a thrift store next up Another Cabbage Patch Kid. This is a 1980 Cabbage Patch Did Kid. Cabbage Patch Did. Cabbage Patch Kid. Brown hair, blue eyes. She sold for $15. Plus shipping. So the Batman Volume 8. Superhero. Um, or I'm sorry. Super Heavy. Yeah. It's Volume 8 Super Heavy. It says it right there. I was looking for more wordage, but it's just super heavy. Uh, Batman looks quite different on that. So I imagine this is a different uh, artist. From DC Comics, uh, got this at Ollie's Bargain Outlet for a couple bucks. Sold it for $9.60, free shipping. Sold some really cool records today. Most of these are from that uh, large lot of records we got at an auction, along with a few that we got at that garage sale that you saw. Uh, the first one up is this. This is Led Zeppelin 4, right here. Um, the sleeve's in decent shape. Um, the record's in really good shape, too. Right there. Um, someone wrote on it, though. Um, $10 free shipping for Led Zeppelin. Sold a coloring book. This uh, Sarah found this at the bins. Just add color botanicals, right here. Never been colored in. Um, Five dollars and sixty cents for the coloring book, plus shipping. Probably paid. Oh, we paid a quarter for it. Well, books at our bins is a quarter. So sold some again. These. <laughs> um, you may recognize these from about two weeks ago's what sold video. These are a set of two Potter, Pottery Barn um, candle holders. Shabby chic. Shabby chic. 
Shabby chic. I, that's probably how you say it. Shabby chic. Um, there is some damage on these, and they they came back because of the damage. You can see it right there. It's been repaired, um, but they do still have the tags on the bottom of them. Um, we took them back because we didn't really. We pictured it, but we didn't emphasize it, and you know we so we took them back, and uh, they sold again twenty five dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. Another record we've sold this a bunch of times. This is Stevie Nicks. Belladonna album, um, six dollars and eighty cents plus shipping. We had two of these records. We sold this second one. This is really cool. If you guys see these out there, they they seem to be worth it. Star Wars, um, the galact and other galactic funk. You can tell because the space people are dancing. <laughs> this sold for eleven dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. It's a good seller too. It sells quick. So if you see that, uh, definitely grab it from 1977 sold a brand new long shot headlamp there it is it's a light that straps to your head you know when you go camping you can be like i gotta pee i'm going to the woods <laughs> it's a headlamp uh six dollars and forty cents free shipping for that um sold a banana republic gray ribbed beanie yep it's literally just a gray skull cap right here that says banana republic on the inside of it uh ten dollars for this plus shipping sorry free shipping on the beanie sold a comic book uh to a viewer sean you're buying up a storm you got to tell me in the comments are you selling this stuff because you're buying a lot of our stuff this is batman and the Outsiders from 1983, six dollars free shipping. Thank you, Sean. Next up, sold our last copy of this. This is the one we found at the garage sale. This is Billy Joel's Greatest Hits. This record, if you guys see this record, make sure they're both in here because it's a two LP set. But uh, if you see this record for you know anything under five dollars, it's worth a pickup. Uh, it sells well and it sells fast. Twenty six dollars plus shipping for that. Sold an Under Armour, Under Armour Thermal shirt in camo, right there. Um, not new with the tags. Uh, Sarah got this at a thrift store a while back. Um, well, not a while back, probably last week. Um, paid a couple bucks for it, $10 plus shipping on that. Sold a bowl. Not that kind of bowl. This kind of bowl. <laughs> it's a mixing bowl. Vintage unbranded opal mixing bowl, white milk glass. Um, yeah, no brand, no nothing on it, just white bowl with a spout. So you can pour your stuff out. Um, $12 for this, free shipping. So to, uh, let's talk about children's books. Um, there's all kinds of ones in here. Um, there's, um, let's talk about being messy. My personal favorite. Sarah gave this to me and she's like, here, I bought this for you. Not funny. Uh, there's being for. Let's talk about being forgetful. Tattling, important one there. Um, there's a there's a common expression. You know what snitches get. Uh, being careless, being wasteful, overdoing it, complaining, lying, breaking promises, whining, stealing, uh, everything that you would ever want to talk to your children about is all right here in this lovely stack of books. <laughs> and that was worth some money. A lot of 27 uh, Joey Berry vintage uh, books from the 1980s. I feel like my mom had these. They just look familiar. $52 for those. Plus shipping. Um, paid 10 So not a bad profit. 42 bucks there. And that's it for this week, guys. Uh, good week. Today was a little light only because it is currently... 2.30 p.m. on Friday, and we are headed up to an auction in Morgantown, West Virginia. So we were going to try and hit some thrift stores on the way if we can, um, but either way, we are in a little bit of a hurry. So the rest of the sales from today are going to be folded into the weekend, um, so you'll see them starting tomorrow. Um, and we are getting very, very close to a 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't and you're watching this right now, you must like it enough to sit through this video, so just click that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. That also makes us sleep better at night and feel good inside. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.
Good day, sir!